Hello everyone, uh, this is UC, this is going to be the UC Riverside uh, CS152, uh, a little bit of a supplementary video to help people understand code generation. So this will assume that you have downloaded the mill interpreter. If you haven't downloaded the mill interpreter, please watch another, uh, please watch the other video that I posted about how to download the mill interpreter. So for, for this little programming language that we created, we have our little parser over here and it prints out the grammar. We also have our little flex file over here and we are going to generate code for this programming language. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that we're just going to have functions. It, we're going to have, we're going to declare percent type uh, code node functions. And we are just going to define our code node up here. So a code node is a struct code node, node, uh, code node, like that. Code node like that. Struct code code node and code and then name like that. That should be everything to define. Oh yeah, and let's pound include st iosh. We're gonna include iosh stream to use the string class. So so far we've just defined a type, code node functions, and we defined a struct, and then we added it to the union struct. So functions. And now we're going to add a function like that. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to get rid of all the print statements. So record. Uh, I'm going to just delete all print statements. And then print f. So if I just hit record, if I hit that, yep, I'm deleting all the print statements. So. Yep, I deleted all the print statements, and now we're going to now we're going to generate some code for all of this stuff. So at the very end, we're going to have printf. The we're just going to say we're going to take the functions. We're going to take percent one. Percent one means the left. Uh, the first. Well, percent one means that the first most. Uh, well means that the right hand side, uh, the first most, the, the first from the left hand side of the right hand side. Uh, okay, so we're gonna say the struct code node, node is equal to dollar sign one. We're gonna get the code of that. We're just gonna get the code. Is equal to node. Uh, wait, no. I'd rather just do it this way. Uh, printf percent s uh, node the code dot c string. We're gonna use code to store the generated code. And in functions, we're just gonna say we're just gonna say that the dollar dollar, which means the left hand side, is going to just be we're just gonna say we're just gonna create an empty code node and then just return just that empty. We're just gonna create an empty code node and then just return it. And then just yeah, like that. In the functions, 
we're just gonna concatenate the two pieces of code together. So we're just gonna get node node equals dollar sign one uh, function equals dollar sign one. Then we're just gonna get the other function functions, which is plural and dollar sign two. So function is dollar sign one. Functions, plural, with an S, is dollar sign two. We're gonna create a new struct, code, node, uh, know, node equals new code, node, and then we're just gonna say that its code is equal to function, code, plus functions, code, and then we're just gonna say dollar dollar equals node. Again, the dollar dollar means the left hand side of the grammar. Uh, dollar one means the leftmost of the right hand side of the grammar. So dollar two is the second leftmost of the right hand side of the grammar. And because this one is empty, we just return empty. And in functions, we're just going to generate code for empty functions. So in here, struct code node node is equal to new code node. Uh, we're just going to say that node code uh, plus equals uh, something like function uh, followed by plus dollar sign two plus new line. I think I need to, uh, yeah, std string uh, plus std uh, uh, plus the string. And then we should just return the empty, sh the, we should just return the node. We just pass the node up to the highest part of the tree, to a much higher part of the tree, using dollar dollar equals node, like that. So if we do like this, we get func main, like that. Okay, looks nice. So we're gonna add a little bit more code. So I think it's, yeah. Let's look, go back to our website. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at the examples. So let's look at basic.mil. It has func main and end func. So let's build a little empty function. So code, a code plus equals And funk like that. Yep, we just created a little code generator that generates an empty function. So if we run the mill interpreter on our let's let's run our parser and add.ling. Let's output it to a.mil. And as we could see, if we cat a.mil, we have func, main, and func. So if we run the mill interpreter on a.mil, then it should just do nothing because we have an empty function. So this is pretty good. So if we have multiple functions, like for example, add like that. A dot out. Uh, add dot link. We have function add and function main. A dot mil. Mill run. A dot mil. And just as before, because both of them are empty functions, the mill interpreter doesn't do anything. So 
we use the mill interpreter, uh, well, we created a little compiler. It generates a bunch of empty functions. Seems good. Uh, we're going to continue in the next video about how to generate some actual code for actual for actual like code generation.